Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. So it's been quite a while since we've done a proper succulent video for you guys, like showing you an arrangement or care guides, care tips, whatever. Um, it kind of makes sense though, because all of our spring months are so busy outside. Like we're planting up a storm. We're planting annuals, perennials, shrubs. We kind of have a short window to do that before it gets really hot in the summer. So that's what's been kind of occupying our time right now. But uh, in a couple weeks here, it looks like the temperatures are gonna start rising quite a bit. So we will start kind of shifting back to doing more succulent projects and things like that. So stay tuned, we will be bringing those things back. Um, I recently put together this succulent arrangement though for a patio makeover uh, where we actually set this furniture out and did some planters and things. And we decided to film this succulent arrangement separate so that we could show you um, just how I put it together and all the plants and that sort of thing. So what I wanna do in this video is show you the process of how I put it together. We did put all of the names of the succulents on the screen so you can see um, exactly what I used. And then I'll come back and give you guys some care tips. seeing that arrangement come together I wanted to talk first off about all the different types of plants I used because I used a mix of hardy succulents and tender succulents so I used quite a number of sempervivums which are really really hardy like down to zone 3 I think which is negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit so that's really tough they can also take a lot of Sun so you can put them somewhere where they get all day Sun and they're really happy but the echeverias and the aloe I used in my area where it gets super super hot and we don't have very much cloud cover that sort of thing they tend to burn so I find that all of these succulents no matter what they are thrive and do really well in morning Sun and I know that this area looks like there's this can well there there is a canopy of trees over it but right in front of me is where the morning sun comes in and so it streams right in on this arrangement and as long as succulents get about four to six hours of morning sun they are just super happy with that and then in terms of winter care all of these can come inside the sempervivums do just as well as the tender succulents as long as you give them a super bright area so either put them under grow lights or put them in the brightest window you have in your house and they'll all thrive and do great. You could also deconstruct this arrangement. Take the sempervivum out, sempervivums out and plant them out in your landscape and then bring the tender succulents inside. Now, if you live in a more mild climate where you can leave them outdoors, I'm jealous. <laughs> that would be so nice. Um, okay, so in terms of watering, this container actually has a plug in the drain hole, which I do not recommend for beginners. If you're a beginner with succulents or um, you tend to just be a little bit heavy handed with watering, I wouldn't do that. I would make sure that you have a container that's free draining. I did not want to wreck my table. So it was either put a plug in the drain or put a saucer under it, which a saucer would be fine. I didn't have one that matched, so I decided to go with a plug. And I have fairly good luck now, um, but it's after years of working with succulents and just experimenting and killing a lot of them, to be honest with you, um, to come to kind of this place where I can look at the plants and I can kind of tell what they need. Um, so I don't have to water this very much at all. Um, um, so I will just come out with a little water can, just give them a tiny little bit every once in a while after I stick my finger down in there and test the soil. Uh, when it's dry, that's when I'll do it. And they should do just great. Now we don't get very much rain here. So it also works outside because I don't have to worry about rain pooling in this pot. Um, I mean, we maybe get two storms in the summer maybe. Um, springs are a little bit more rainy, but these are typically not out yet in the spring, in the early spring anyway. Um, so I don't have to worry about that. If you live in a rainier place, that would probably be a consideration. You'd probably want to have that drain plug removed so that any excess water could drain away. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was how many plants I used total in this planter. I have not counted them. 
Um, I probably just don't even want to know the amount of succulents I used in here. I like to pack them in, you guys, and it doesn't hurt the plants one bit, I promise. In fact, when you pack them in this tight, they tend to slow down, their growth rate does, so they won't grow out of their space very quickly. And if they do, if I start seeing extra babies pop out, you know, I can pop these babies off, plant them somewhere else, and then the arrangement can just keep on going. Usually an arrangement this tightly packed, I can get a year out of it without having to do any major reconstruction, which usually a year in on any arrangement, you want to really address what's going on in each pot. You might want to take them out, just kind of fluff all of the plants out, repot anything that looks like it's, you know, it needs some extra space and then put it back together with what you have left. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about with this arrangement. I hope it maybe answered some of the questions you might've had when you saw it. And I didn't even use that many varieties. Usually I'll have like 10, 12 different varieties of succulents in the same arrangement, but I only use three different types. There's Sempervivums, Echeverias, and Aloe, so it's pretty darn simple. Um, there's not a whole lot of different textural things, but I think it's very simple and very um, pretty still. It's got a lot of different colors going on in it, and then we do have our strong vertical element, which brings some drama. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We're going to link a couple of our past succulent videos down below, probably our care guide um, succulent tips video, and then maybe one of our arrangements that we've done in the past so that you can kind of get the flavor of what I do. So anyway, like I said, we will be doing a lot more succulent projects as the season progresses. So thank you so much again, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.